morning to all the students. Today we will see about the chronic inflammation and healing. Let us start. Today we are going to see about the two topics. One is the chronic inflammation, another one is the healing. Okay, let us we'll see about, the, about the, what is meant by chronic inflammation. So chronic inflammation, this is the definition. It is defined as prolonged duration in which inflammations, comma, tissue destruction and attempt to repair coexist in varying combination on the same time. That means chronic inflammations having characteristic of these three. Inflammation, tissue destruction and attempt to repair. Repair means it is a healing. Coexist at important and is in varying combination on the same time. Okay, we will see. So this is about the injury. So injury attacking to the any tissue. So first will be acute inflammation. After acute inflammation, we have seen about the four outcomes. Okay, one of the outcome is resolution. The tissue will come back to the normal. This is known as the resolution. Or the tissue will go for the pustular separative formation, pus formation. That is the second one. Third one, the acute inflammation progress to the chronic inflammation. Okay. The fourth one, it is a healing. It can directly can acute inflammation leads to healing or chronic inflammation leads to healing. So what is that? So after the chronic inflammation and healing. So in chronic inflammation, this inflammation along with the healing occurs simultaneously. That is the word meaning of the definitions. Okay. We will see what is the characteristic point. One is chronic inflammation have prolonged duration. So prolonged duration means anything goes more than 48 hours. It may go for the week or the year. It is known as the chronic inflammations. Okay. So here which cells will come to the play? Mononuclear cells infiltrations. What is mononuclear cells? We will study later. Macrophages and lymphocytes. We will we'll, uh, describe in the later slides. Okay. Third one it is the tissue destruction. I told you chronic inflammations come along with the tissue destruction plus healing. So all the combination it is the characteristic points of the chronic inflammation. Okay. So what is the inflammatory cells? We have studied in the acute inflammatory cells is the neutrophil, polymorpho neutrophil we have studied. Okay. In chronic inflammation, okay, what we have studied is the mononuclear cells. Okay. Mononuclear cells means it is macrophages, lymphocytes and plasma cells. The questions will come where it, what is macrophages? Okay, so what is the different? Okay, let me discuss about the what is macrophages. Macrophages, the word meaning is a big eater. Okay, so big eater. Okay, so now where it is present macrophages? We have studied in the RBC, WBC and platelet, that is the blood cells. But macrophages we didn't study, where it is there? Okay, we will study macrophages are the term where monocyte that has migrated from the blood to the tissues. Okay, let me talk about the very simple meaning, the simple understanding. Okay. When the cells, which is the cell which is present into the blood, it is known as the monocyte. Okay. The same cell which is present into the lungs, pulmonary region, we are calling as the alveolar macrophages. Okay. The same cell which is present into the liver, it is known as the Kuffer cells. Okay. The same cell which is present into the bone, we are calling as the osteoclast. Okay. Like this, the cell which is present into the Connective tissue we are calling as the histiocytes. When the cells which is present into the skin, we are calling as the Langerhan cell. When present the same cell which is present into the kidney, it is a mesangial cell. When the cell which comes to the brain, we are calling as a microglia. Okay, that means the cell, the same cell which is in the different location, we are calling as a when present into the monocyte which is present into the blood, known as the monocyte which is present into the tissue, we are calling as a macrophages. Okay. So what is the lifespan of the uh, thing? Monocyte. Okay. When it is present into the blood, it is known as a monocyte. Monocyte, the lifespan is 1 to 4 days. When it comes to the macrophages, it is 3 months to year. That is the lifespan of the macrophages. Okay. Let me see about the, what is the basic function of the macrophages. The one is phagocytosis. Okay. After the acute inflammation, the chronic inflammation, the primary cell is a macrophages that will kill the enemy. What is phagocytosis? We, we studied in the previous classes. And next one it is antigen recognitions to the lymphocyte. Okay. After the macrophages, first is the neutrophil will come to the play, then macrophages. After the macrophages, what is the next two cells will come to the play is the lymphocyte. There is a T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Mainly the T lymphocytes. So who will recognize this? Uh, lymphocytes will recognize the enemy by this macrophages. Okay. Third one is a cytokinase secretion that we have studied what is cytokinase, the type of the chemical mediators. Okay. Then fourth one, 
very important one initiation to the tissue repair okay so the macrophages have dual function okay that we'll study next slide okay so this is the function of the macrophages okay so we'll study the type of activated macrophages there are two type of activated macrophages number one is the classically activated macrophages by short they will call m1 and next one it is alternatively activated macrophages by short they will call m2 okay what is that function see this is the it's very important m1 is a m2 cells okay so m1 cells responsible for the inflammation responsible for the chronic inflammation but see in the m2 cells responsible for the anti inflammatory effect that means it is helping for the tissue repair okay the same cell have the dual action one action is for the inflammation another action is for the tissue repair that is the reason this both is a characteristic of chronic inflammation so this will occur together simultaneously that is the word we have discussed in the definitions okay we will study the type of chronic inflammations okay so there are two type of chronic inflammation one is chronic non specific inflammation another one which is very important one which we are going to talk about this is the chronic granulomatous inflammation okay we will study what is chronic granulomatous inflammation so chronic granulomatous inflammation let me talk about the word meaning okay uh, chronic granulo granulomatous means granuloma what is meant by granuloma the word it is taken from the latin okay granule means it is circumscribed granules like lesions and oma means inflammatory mass of course the oma means in the the word meaning is a tumor when it comes to the necrosis chapter i will explain but here it is the word it is uh, inflammatory mass so what is the word meaning granule like inflammatory mass okay that is a word meaning of the granuloma okay let me talk about the definition what is the definition it is defined by the presence of granuloma which is the size which is very small 0.5 to 2 mm consisting of aggregation of macrophages that are transformed into epithelium like cells that is known as the epitheloid cells surrounded by a layer of mononuclear leukocytes and fibroblast lymphocyte and fibroblast that is lymphocyte and plasma cells okay this is the definition given by the standard book okay let me explain very simple way okay so this is the granuloma granuloma made up of three layers okay granuloma made up of three layer peripheral layer mid layer the peripheral zone mid zone and there is a central zone okay this is the granuloma the size of the granuloma is 0.5 to 2 mm okay this together it is known as the granuloma the formation of the granuloma in the chronic inflammation it is known as a chronic granulomatous inflammation okay let us study what is peripheral zone what is mid zone what is central zone okay so the granuloma made up of three layer okay first one it is general, central zone central necrosis the central zone is made up of central necrosis with epithelioid cells and langerhans giant cells okay we have studied what is epithelioid cells epithelioid cells means the another version of the macrophages the macrophages transformed into the some type it is known as the epithelioid cells okay epithelioid cells otherwise known as the giant cells okay what is Lang langerhans giant cells don't confuse with this word langerhans there is a one more word we have studied langerhans langerhans cell is the cell which is macrophages present into the skin it is known as a langerhans cell this is langerhans cells so please the note the word okay langerhans okay what is langerhans cells langerhans cells means many epithelioid cells fuse to form giant cells a yeah, big cells having horseshoe shape known as the langerhans giant cells okay here you can see it here so this is the one so this is the small epithelioid cell this is the pink color it is a epithelioid cells and this is the big one two big one this is known as the langer langerhans cells okay so all the most of the epithelioid cells forms together and makes one big cell this is known as the lang langerhans giant cells okay that made up of central zone what is the mid zone mid zone means rime of lymphocyte or occasionally plasma cells okay so this is the one this is the blue color this is the one it is a rime of lymphocyte okay and what is the last one peripheral zone it is the made up of fibroblast okay so mid zone this is the peripheral zone rime of fibroblast are connective tissue cells okay this zones are very prominent in older granuloma okay so this is about the three zones of granulomatous inflammations okay so what will there we we'll see the type of granuloma okay there are three types of granuloma number one is infectious or non immune type the examples example is tuberculosis okay 
leprosy. This and all is the sum of the examples of infectious uh, type. Okay. Next one it is non-infectious or immune type. Sarcoidosis. Okay. Silicosis. This is the examples of non-infectious type. Okay. Third one it is the foreign body granuloma. So this is the three type of granuloma. So that's all about the chronic inflammations. Okay. Now we'll see about the pathogenesis of the granuloma. How the granuloma forms. Like a simple flowchart I'm explaining. Okay, so this is affected by tissue, infected by the any pathogens. Okay, so what happened? That leads to acute inflammations. The first, first inflammation start with acute, directly will not go to chronic. First will be acute. So less than 48 hours. So what happened? The failure of the acute inflammation, that means neutrophil is unable to kill the enemy. So what happened? Activation of the T cells or activation of the monocyte, chemotactic and growth factor. Okay, so growth factor hemotactic is the we have studied into the chemical mediator. So this will activate that leads to recruitment of circulatory monocyte from where is the monocyte will be present? Will present into the blood vessels. So circulatory monocytes will be activated. So that converted into the macrophages, tissue macrophages. So monocyte will convert it into the macrophage. That means it will come from the blood to the infected tissue. Okay, so so much accumulation of the tissue macrophages to the infected part that leads to what happened? That macrophages transform into the epithelioid cells and giant cells. Okay, that's all the formation of the granuloma. So this is the word, it is granuloma. So that's all about the chronic inflammations. Okay, we'll go for the healing. Okay, very important topic is the next topic is the healing. Okay, we'll study what is mean by healing. Healing is the word meaning is to make whole. Okay, what is the better meaning? Restoration of entire tissue architecture and function after the injury. I told you the healing occurs in the chron simultaneously chronic inflammation and healing occur together. Okay, so restoration of the entire tissue architecture and function after the injury. Okay, let me explain with the sir. Normal tissue, okay, any pathogens, acute inflammation, less than 48 hours, then goes to the chronic inflammation, then goes to the healing. This come together. Chronic inflammation and healing comes together. I told you. So healing is simple word. The injured tissue will become healthy tissue. That is known as the healing. Okay. So this is the tissue. This is the injured tissue. Okay. So afterwards, after the injured tissue, there is inflammation. We have studied in acute inflammation, neutrophil will come to the play. In chronic inflammation, macrophages will come to the play. After the inflammation so this is the healing process healing process is how the injured part will become normal this is known as the we are discussing in the under the chapter of healing okay we'll study what is meant by types of healing there are two types of healing number one is regeneration another one is repair okay we'll study what is meant by one by one okay Re before studying regeneration we'll study type of cells there are three type of cells we have we have studied already into the class okay again i'm repeating labial cells what is labial cell Continuously dividing cells. Okay, some of the cells since birth to till death continuously is dividing. The example is bone marrow cells, RBC, WBC, platelet. Everything is a continuously examples of labile cells. Okay, stable cells. That means partially dividing cell. That means when the situation is needed for dividing, then it will be divided. Example is vascular endothelium. When the blood vessel is become injury, so the vascular endothelium will become mature when it is required okay third one it is the permanent cells or non dividing cells example is neuron muscles cardiac muscle and skeletal muscles this is the permanent cells why we are reading this three okay labile cells stable cell and permanent cells there is a reason what is the reason okay now we'll go for the regenerations okay what is mean by regeneration the simple definition it is a process of healing to restore the last tissue following the injury of the labile and stable cells by the same surrounding tissue okay restoration occurring into the labile cells and stable cells okay by the same surrounding tissue there are four type of tissue we have studied okay epithelial tissue muscular tissue nervous tissue and connective tissue okay so the injury any part of the tissue will become the same type of healing will be taking place by the same surrounding tissue it is known as the regeneration but it is occurring only into the labile cell and stable cells okay what is repair? Okay, it is the process of healing to restore the last tissue following the injury of the permanent cell. Okay, neurons. Okay, by help of specialized fibrovascular tissue that is known as the granulation tissue. Okay, 
any phototype of the tissue will be getting infected by repair but what happened the final end result is not same tissue end result is formation of the granulation tissue the granulation tissue forms only into the permanent cells that is known as the thing okay let me explain very simple okay regeneration means involvement of the cell is a labile cell and stable cell and what is the process healing by the same tissue what is the repair repair means involvement of the permanent cells okay what is the healing healing by the granulation tissue this is the basic difference of regenerations and repair now we will go for the repair regenerations is nothing to discuss because labile and stable cell healing with the same tissue okay so repair we will discuss a little more detail because repair is a granulation tissue okay what is repair okay repair we have studied so this is the sum of injury you take place so this is you can see the pink color okay this is the pink color that means by side in the chronic inflammation by side there is the granulation tissue starts to appear Okay, in histology, granulation tissue is, looks like this. Okay, we are studying granulation tissue, granulation tissue. What is granulation tissue? Granulation tissue is the pink and soft granular appearance on the surface of the wound. Okay, on the surface of the wound. So, this is the pink, okay, on the surface, on the border of the wound. Starts from the border, then entire injury will be covered. Okay, that is known as the granulation tissue. Okay. Now we will study what is the component, what is the component, granulation tissue, it is a over granulation tissue we are calling as a scar, okay. What is the components of granulation tissue, please remember, fibroblast, collagen fibers and ECM, that means extracellular matrix component, synthesis and degradation, this is the three component of the granulation tissue, okay. We will study how it is forms one by one, we will study by the coming slides, okay. Process of the repair, how the repair will be? Explain it. Okay. Repair can be explained by the two process. One is granulation tissue formation. Another one is contraction of the wound. Okay. Granulation tissue formation have for our better understanding we are talking about the two. Angiogenesis and fibrogenesis. We will come back to what is the angiogenesis and fibrogenesis. And contraction of the wound we are coming back to the two type. Deposition of the ECM and remodeling. Okay. We will study first one. Okay. What is granulation? Granulation tissue leads to contraction of the wound. Okay, so what happened? First one, granulation tissue formation. How the granulation tissue formation? The first one, it is angiogenesis. Okay, angiogenesis means, angio means blood vessels, genesis means formation, new, new. So what is the uh, meaning? New blood vessel formation in the injured tissue. We may ask some questions, why angiogenesis is occurring in the granulation tissue? Okay, so let me explain very simple. Okay, this is the inflammatory process. So after the injury, there is inflammation. You know, this is the acute and the macrophages, everything. So there is a, this is the injured part. There is a blood vessels will become injured. Okay, blood vessels also become injured. If here the granulation tissue formation means, which, what is required? There is a, some fibers. We have seen the fibroblast, collagen fiber, so many things is required. For this formation of this everything, okay, there should be nutrition is required. So for the nutrition, okay, who is providing the nutrition to our body is the through the via the blood vessels. So blood vessels only provide the nutrition. So this part will become what happened? Formation of the new blood vessel forms. So this new blood vessels provide the nutrition to the uh, some of the cells. Fibro, uh, this is not fibroblast, this is a fibroblast. B, B L A S T. Okay, fibroblast. So what happened? This will give nutrition to the this cells. So that cells in the synthesis the collagen everything. So granulation tissue formation. So angiogenesis is the very important. This is the beginning stage of the granulation tissue. Okay. So what happened? Okay. So we'll see, we'll study how the angiogenesis forms. Okay. So formation of the capillary support and migration of the endothelial cells, proliferation of the endothelial cells and formation of the endothelial cells. Okay. Let me talk about the diagrammatic representation. It will be easy. First one, formation of the capillary support. Okay, so what happened? This is the one. This is the normal cells and some of there is the injured cell. So what happened? First one, the formation of the capillary sporting. Okay, so by which one? By so many growth factor. Okay, vascular endothelial growth factor, platelet derived growth factor, fibroblast growth factor and angiopoietin 1. This growth factors, everything will help for the this blood nearby injury blood vessels will become makes the sprouting so that will what happen that sprouting so that will makes the new blood vessels new blood vessels formation okay see here this is a normal blood tissue and this is the damaged tissue so normal tissue what happen there will be sprouting so what happen the endothelial this is the endothelial cells endothelial cells will migrate and proliferate okay and formation of the different different branches so this is about the angiogenesis simple meaning okay 
So now we'll go fibrogenesis. What is mean by fibrogenesis? Once the blood vessels, uh, the infected part will become so much blood supply. So what happened? The migration and proliferation of the fibroblast. So how the fibroblast will be proliferation by the nutrition. So nutrition who's providing? The new blood vessel is providing. Okay, that is the reason. The fibroblast. Okay, what is the thing? What will happen into the fibrogenesis? What is fibroblast? Okay, so fibrocyte which is normally present into the blood vessels. Okay, that will convert it to fibroblast. Okay, you know the word meaning. Site means a mature cell. Blast means immature cells. Okay, so fibrocytes will become fibroblast with the help of transferring growth factor beta. Okay, so what happened? Why it is happening? This fibroblast only helping for, so this is the thing. Fibrocyte, this is the shape of the normal fibrocyte and the fibroblast, this is the shape of the fibroblast. This is the spindle shape will become oval shape. Okay. So we will not go to the much in detail. So we will go for the little more detail thing. So what happened this fibro? Once it makes the fibroblast, it having the two conditions. What happened? It will stimulate the muscles. So the formation of the myofibrosis. Very important. Myofibrosis is the very important thing. Okay. Next one, it secretes the collagen fibers. It secretes the collagen fibers. So fibroblast will come. So okay. What is collagen fibers? We will uh, we'll not go very deep. We will go very basic things. Most uh, mostly present of the, all the human protein, approximately 24% of the protein is the collagen, our body. Okay, there are five types of thing. What is the type 1? Type 1 is the skin and bone. Type 1 collagen present into the skin and bone. Type 2 is present into the articular cartilage. Type 3 which is present into the cerebrovascular system and lungs. And type 4 which is present into the basement membrane. Type 5 is present into the placenta. Please remember, type 3, the granulation tissue forms, the fresh granulation tissue is the form type suppose skin skin is injured normally will consist of type 1 but what happened in the granulation tissue forms means type 3 the simple word is all granulation tissue is made up of type 3 collagen fibers and type 1 collagen fiber this is a very very important for the mcqs of future studies okay now we'll go for the con uh, contraction of the wounds okay contraction of the wound by two purpose we are dividing for two uh, thing deposition of the ecm and remodeling okay deposition of the ecm means what ecm means extracellular matrix okay so extracellular matrix synthesis will happen so extracellular matrix presence of the so many protein so what happened synthesis of the so many protein okay so what happened this is the this is the uh, epithelium and this is the basement membrane and this is the interstitial matrix so everything will be forms during the after the angiogenesis so much blood supply will come so this is the fibroblast this fibroblast secretes the so many collagen fibers and see collagen fibers and lamine so many things will be secretes okay who will be helping for this fibroblast to secrete all the things? Okay, they secrete by the family of matrix metalloproteinase. Please remember this is very important. MPPS. Okay, so now we will go for the next process is the remodeling. So remodeling means what happened? The fibroblast and collagen tissue plus extracellular matrix, three component. This is the three component. Okay, comes together with the help of remodeling formation of the granulation tissue. This is known as the granulation tissue formation. Okay, the last one, what happened? So this is the one. So uh, before one, this is the form, this is the cells, everything will be there. Okay, formation of uh, remodeling starts taking place. At the finally, the simple word, it's once it starts when? Once the inflammation starts, uh, chronic inflammation of two third of Two to three days and the process is completed by two to, two to three weeks so what happened lastly the myofibrosis okay atrophy of the blood vessels contraction of the collagen and cell become fibrocytes again the what happened once the healing is over that atrophy of the new blood vessels it is a new blood vessels and contraction of the collagen collagen will be contracted and cell fibroblast will become fibrocytes so this is the slide see the, here it will be scab was there so this is the normal and this is the thing and new epithelium will be forms and there is a new blood vessels will be contracted and collagens everything will be normal all the fibroblast will become fibrocytes will go to the uh, outside okay the injured tissue will become healing okay so that's all about the granulation tissue formation that's all about the process of the repair that's all about the chronic inflammation and healing. Next class we will see about the hemodynamic disorders. Thank you.